our parent company. And they are the number one largest staffing company in the world, based out of Switzerland. So I'm gonna put little number one here. I'll tell you why that's important in a minute. And Modus, we were acquired by Deco, luckily, in 2011, and we are the IT arm. And so we are anything and everything from help desk, infrastructure, software development, web development, anything and everything underneath that IT umbrella, we cover. But here's something else to know. So Modus, we just became a $1 billion company. And I'm not saying this to brag. I'm saying this because we just merged with a Deco ENT, which is one of our sister companies. <coughs> and the Deco ENT covers mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, PCB designers, anything and everything in that realm, a different side of uh, technology. And so between IT and electrical engineering and you know, mechanical engineering, that sort of thing, we are the true, what I would consider you know, a powerhouse of tech, okay? Now, MODIS is essentially, we, I mean, we're in, we're in the United States, we're in Europe, we're in Canada, but in the United States alone, we have uh, 70 offices. And so what that means is between a DECO, MODIS, a DECO ENT, and the fact that we've got, you know, seven other sister companies, all industry specific, so accounting, paralegals, um, anything and everything you can think of, we've got a staffing company that covers it. So between Adeco Modus, our six sister companies, and Adeco ENT, the fact that we're a powerhouse of technology, 70 offices across the United States, we're talking a humongous reach that we have in finding good people, good passive candidates. So when, when we first started out, I remember you telling me part of the reason why we're meeting today is you worked with another agency before. You also have two positions right now that have been open for, say, six months, correct? Okay. What I'm about to go into is going to essentially tell you why we are so different than the tech systems of the world or the tech USA of the world, which were the two agencies that you used. So. With all of this reach, we have a database of two million candidates. Wow. Two million candidates that have not just been thrown in there and, and w without any information. These are people we've placed, people we've vetted, people we've interviewed, brought into our office, people that have been referred to us. This is our network. So essentially, what we do and what we start off with between myself and my two other executive recruiters, we're dialing and calling into, into our, our network of passive candidates and people that have been referred to us, 300 a piece. So 300 dials a week, we're calling into the market. So between myself and my team, that is 900 dials. So out of those 900 dials, uh, it would be safe to say that between 60 and 80 people we actually talk to, connect with. That each? 60 and 80 people each? Total. Oh, Over three. Oh. Absolutely. Lots of voicemails. Yeah. Or multiple times trying to reach them. Regardless, we're, we're pretty ruthless. Okay. So 60 to 80 people we talk to, and out of that 60 to 80, as a whole, our office will probably bring in 15 people. Of those 15 people, we are vetting their skill set, we are checking their references, and we're not just checking the reference of their best friend or their teacher from college. We are literally contacting at least two supervisory references, people who have actually managed them, speak to their work ethic, can speak to you know how they get along with the team. And of those 15 that we vetted, we are essentially picking the top three to four people. Now, we do this in one of two ways. The first way is a 
block. Second one. So, essentially, Sarah, what is a block? Well, a block is essentially this type of commitment that we're giving to you by literally solely focusing on your position and putting this much effort and this much time goes into also getting the commitment from you that you're going to block out one to, basically between one and four hours, one hour time slots apiece for each candidate that we pick as our top three or our top four. And so what that means is, say for instance, you know, today's Thursday, we set up a block at your office uh, next Friday from one to four or, or two to five, whatever the case may be. And I will be sitting in on all of those interviews as well because the better that I get to know you, your interview process, the people you look for, the more vital I'm gonna be for you. Because that's how I'm really gonna know, especially for the candidate's sake as well, whether it's a fit for you and it's a fit for them. And so, for instance, we'll say you know, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. This is all done at your office and your site. Now, the other option is to do the same exact thing but at my office. And I'll tell you why uh, for, actually I can give you an example. So Golf Now, I've been working with them for just over two years. Have you ever heard of Golf Now? Sure, yeah, the peace has come on time. Great company, uh, great culture. For the past two years, I've put 44 people there, all direct hire, and I've done it this way or this way because I work with about 12 different hiring managers. Some of them really love the sell of their office. They've got putting greens, they've got TVs everywhere, they wanna be able to really showcase that. Totally agree. Some of them, I try to push them to do this because you know their office is so pretty, but some of them say, no Sarah, I wanna get out of the office. There's no distractions at your office. I love it, I got nobody coming in, no developer trying to chase me down because of a production issue. I want to be there with no distractions. So between the block and the day modus, knowing your environment, what would you be more comfortable with moving forward with? Yeah, our office space sucks. I'd rather come over to your office. Okay. So for instance, we could do the same thing next Friday at you know, one, two, three, and four p.m. And we will essentially set it up um, for next Friday. And the entire reason why this is so successful is because this is all done five to seven days. Now the last time that you used tech, you told me it took them uh, almost five weeks to find you a software developer. More than that, yeah. So during that five weeks, was a lot of productivity lost as far as you trying to interview a, a lot of different candidates and, and trying to get your job and your deadlines and all those things done? Well, a lot of golf was off on Saturday morning because I wasn't able to play it. That's, that's, sure. that's no fun. So the solution that I'm providing you today is done in five to seven days. And after being able to compare candidate to candidate all in one and consolidating it and streamlining it for you, you're able to make a decision. And so literally from today until next Friday, you should be able to um, pick a candidate that you like and have them start within two weeks. Yeah, sounds good. Great. Awesome, good job, sir.